so if you have any problem please hand over the problem to me and i will solve the problem why you worry about the problem you hand over the problem but the king told him if the problem is outside me i can hand over the problem to yourself but the problem is within myself the problem is within my mind how can i hand over my problem within your within with the to yourself so problem is within my mind how can i hand over my problem but the saint say in a different way so if it is the problem within your mind you need not hand over it to me but you have to you do one thing so if you have some problem with your mind it must be some other some place of yourself it must have it must have some abode within your mind to have the problem so if you enter you if you if you if you have some problem within your mind you may locate you locate the mind you locate the problem where it is available why what is the abode of the problem within your mind you simply look at the problem within your mind and i will come to that place and i will solve the problem the king look into his mind where the problem is residing when the mind the king looked into himself he did not find anything and he simply say said to the saint when i look into my mind i find nothing there no problem is there so now the saint says you yourself have said some problem is in our mind now you yourself said that no problems are in our mind so so what is the problem now whether problem is there or not if there is really if there is some problem it must be the always there in your mind so if it is not available within your mind how can we say that some problem is there so now so we everybody is asking everybody is moving everybody is trying in many way to solve our problem but the really whether there is problem or not now we are in a question now we are in a state that we have to enquire whether the problem is existing or not as if some problems are there we are trying we are trying in many way to solve the problem now we are coming to a state we are coming to a question whether some problem is existing or not are we trying to solve the existing problem or are we trying to solve the non existing problem whether the problem is existing existing or not is there any problem or not so what is the problem now the problem is where is the problem what is the problem itself some in some of our meeting one gentleman asked me i have a problem the problem is that it is very easy for me to get anger and it is very hard for myself to control the anger please help me to control my anger please help me give me some suggestion or some idea to control my anger so the problem is that getting angry is very easy but controlling anger is very hard controlling anger is very difficult so that is the problem of the questioner so i we discuss the matter in a humorous way so if you have the anger but you cannot you cannot control it in a good way it is very difficult for yourself to control your anger it is not for yourself in my case also it is very difficult to control anger so i cannot advise you how to control the anger but at the same time you have asked two statements in the first statement that getting angry is very easy having anger is very easy but the controlling anger is very hard 
In the first, with related to the first statement, getting anger is very easy. The second statement is, controlling the anger is very difficult. But with related to our, our answer, the, the controlling part, it is, I admit that the controlling anger is very difficult, but I asked him to prove his first statement. Getting anger is very easy. You told me that the getting anger is very easy. So if it is getting, if getting anger is very easy, please prove the anger and keep the anger within yourself from the morning till evening. Can you keep your anger? Can you have the anger? Because you say getting angry is very easy. But can you show your anger from the morning till evening? But we think our emotions are within our hand. That is why we are trying to control our emotions. But if you do not know how to control the emotion, so what is the meaning of enlightenment? What is the meaning of liberation? What is the meaning of spiritual world? What is happening? What is going on here? So how can we do, if you, if anything is in our, if nothing is in our hand, how can we control, how can we control the emotions of our ourself? For example, if anybody is having some emotion, some good emotion or bad emotion, what is the life duration of a emotion? Anger, fear, sorrow. What is the life duration? Each and everything will have a life. How long a emotion will exist? What is the life duration of an emotion? For this thing, the enlightenment master need not say anything. Even scientists will say, the life duration of an emotion is only a fraction of a second. No emotion will stand more than a fraction of a second. Just like an explosion, it explodes and disappears. Only at the time of its disappearance, we understand, we recognize some experience has happened to ourselves. When we recognize something as experience, it has, other, it has already gone away from us. But we think it is existing within ourselves. Actually, when we recognize some ex experience, it is gone out, away from our, 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 our perceptions. But in the case of, in the, during the rainy season, you may have the, the thunderstorm, the thunderstorm. You may have the lightning, you may, for the, some, you may have the flashlight. And after a few seconds, you will have the thunder, noise of the thunder. And nobody, nobody will be afraid of the lightning. The flash, nobody will be afraid of the flashlight. But everybody will be afraid of the noise of the thunder, as if it will fall down upon our, hand, upon our head. But it is impossible to have the occurrence if you, if you hear the noise of the thunder. So, the thunder is over at the flashlight itself. When the noise of the thunder, we, when we hear the noise of the thunder, there is no thunder at all. There is no lightning at all. It is over at the flashlight itself. So in this way, whatever we have the, in the name of emotion, it comes and explodes and disappears. But only at the time of disappearance alone, we know we some, something has happened to ourselves. Then only we try to have some control over emotion or anything. 
then we need not do anything. Actually, it has already gone away from ourselves. But we, but we think we are trying to do something which is away from ourselves. There is no necessity to do anything for our emotion. It has come and disappears on its own. But what we are doing here, for example, we are having some water in a pot. The water is still position. Even the still water, if you put the tip of your finger at the top of the water, at the surface of the water, some ripple will form in a rounded way. And how to, how to remove the wave of the ripple? Can we brush it aside? So if you try to brush it aside, another ripple will form, another wave will form. So if you do not do anything, the wave will settle down on its own. You need not do anything. Here, all those enlightened master has done the same thing. Some way or other, they find out they have nothing to do within their emotions. So, in this way, in our Tamil language, there is the many saints will say, Summa ir. Don't do anything. Doing nothing is the secret. There is no, if you, if, you, if you deliberately do anything, then we are doing something against ourselves. There is, not, there is nothing related to ourselves. So all masters come to the state in a different way, but everybody is are coming to the same state. Some way or other coming to the state that they do not know it, do anything related to their emotions. They keep themselves in a silent way. They are not resisting themselves, in a, they are resisting their emotions. When they do not resist their emotion, their emo emotion, all emotions will burst away and go away. We need, not con we need not have any control over the emotions. If you give total liberation to your emotion, that is the liberation itself. The giving liberation to your emotion is the liberation. But we are not, if you are not living, giving liberation to your emotion, then we are having some binding. Because we, are, we want to control our emotion. The trying to control your emotion, that alone is the problem. That alone is the ignorance. So here, what is the portion of the mind is doing all those mischief is our intellect alone is the, the mischief monger is the, our intellect. If the, our intellect is saying something that we have to have the control over the emotion. So the intellect has to understand it has no power with related to the emotions. The intellect is very good to do all those things in the external world. But it has no work with related to the psychological world. So that is why our scriptures used to say all our actions into two ways. Paramardhya Sadhyam and Vivaharya Sadhyam. Paramardhya Sadhya means our psychological matters, or all our psychological world, psychological emotions are related to this Paramardhya Sadhya. Paramardhya Sadhya means that is spiritual or psychological. In the psychological world, everything is Brahma, Maham Brahmasmi, everything is Atman, everything is God. So here that means we need not do anything, everything is okay. There is nothing to do. But in the Vivahari Sadhyam, we need not take the stand like this. Some difference are there in the external world is concerned. We have some position, we have to have some duty, we have to execute everything. That is in the Vivahari Sadhyam, you have to do all those things. You have to behave like a human being. We have to behave like a human man, as an as a ordinary man, you are vested with many duties. 
you have to execute all your duties you have to behave like a resp responsible person in your family in your society but in the psychological world you are you have nothing you are everything your everything is good everything is brahman everything is aham brahmasmi sarvam brahmam everything is brahmam everything is sat everything is sit there you need not worry about anything psychological world is concerned everything is okay then we are giving total freedom to the psychological world so the psychological world must be given total freedom to our, the psychological world so for those things our intellect has to understand all those things we have to divide ourselves our our mind into two way the psychological and physical the physical is the, the for the physical world you have to execute your mind you have to use your mind you have to use your intellect but the intellect has no way it has no duty to correct itself correct its emotions we can use our mind to the world but we cannot use our mind against the mind if we use our mind against the mind that is the ignorance so you have to give total freedom to your mind so the mind in itself it must be in freedom it must be in absolute freedom so it is it is paramarthya sadyam so in the psychological world everything must be considered as atman or brahman or god everything is good we should not treat anything as bad whatever comes it is the everything everything is coming under the will of god so psychologically everything is okay we have to give total freedom to the psychological world so the freedom liberation understanding everything is related to our mind everything is related to our psychological structure but in the physical world we have to follow the rules and regulation we have to follow the ethics of the world ethics of the society we have to behave everything in a good way so that is in the bhagavad vahari sadyam we have to behave like a man but in the psychological world we are not a man we are not a human being everything is absolute everything is brahma alone sarvam brahma maya there is no human being you are not anything so psychologically we are not a human being don't take a stand within our psychological world taking him some stand in the psychological world alone is the problem that alone is the ignorance psychologically we are total we are not a partial we are not a personality but in the physical world you are a personality you are somebody you are a human being you have to have some you are vested with some duty you have to execute that and all the masters are having the understanding having the in some way or other they having the understanding like this you may have the knowledge about the j krishna murthy some great master and he was expected to be the world teacher and he many teach many practices many preparation have been given to him to be established as a world teacher just like other other masters and saints he got some yoga practices meditation techniques and thereby he got many capacities many blissful experiences some transcendental experiences some astral travel experience many experience he got samadhi state many many got many experiences but he has not got liberation he has not got the enlightened but everybody is expecting him from him a yeah, some world teacher from the him but at that at that state his brother he was living with his brother his brother was was fell in a sickly condition and he attending him his brother and he seek the help of some deities of the theosophical society itself but in spite of all those things his brother died unexpectedly 
so during the shock of everything he kept himself in a in a closed room so he has the capacity to go into the state of samadhi he can very easily escape from the sorrow of his uh, death of his brother he can very easily escape for, to into the state of samadhi but he did not do anything he simply accept the sorrow so whenever he accept his himself accept the happening of himself he go away from the sorrow away from the mind so everything is happening just like as a science all masters are having the enlightenment as a science as a way of science everybody can use the science it is not a mystical one everybody is it is a science it is a common science so if you are struggling with your mind you are not following the signs you are understanding the signs so if you understand you have nothing to do with the emotions the matter is over everybody is everything is happening on its own way so we may have a break of 5 minutes and <coughs> you can have some if you have any clarity if you want to have a clarification or doubts or any question you may put in your in the, some piece of paper the paper will be given to you and we will have those things after this 5 minutes break and we are having some books in telugu and english and tamil if anybody were interested they may you may follow the books